So you'll want to learn how to back up a trailer for your first time? Don't worry, I'll show you a step-by-step -step process. I've got you covered. Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel, everybody. Welcome back, this is the Oceanside Guy. My name is Derek, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to back up your trailer, especially if it's your very first time. I'm gonna help you keep it simple, so let's get started. All right, guys, here we are in an open lot, so this is probably one of the best places that you can get yourself started to practice backing up your trailer. So let's go ahead and get in the vehicle, and we'll get things started. All right, guys, here we are in the driver's seat ready to back up the trailer for the first time. First things first, uh, we're gonna be talking about using your wing mirrors a lot, your left and right mirrors, and also how to put your hands on the steering wheel in order to back up your trailer correctly. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so for using your mirrors, you wanna be able to see the trailer behind you. Now, if you have a smaller trailer, you're not gonna be able to see it when you're backing up, which actually is a good thing because that means the trailer's in the middle. If you happen to have a wider trailer like I do, I can actually see the trailer on my left and right side mirrors as I'm backing up. So I'll show you how to work the mirrors and also hand placement on the steering wheel. How important is that going to be for you to back up successfully? Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is to make sure that your trailer is straightened out right behind your vehicle. So all we gotta do is put your vehicle in drive and just go forward for a little bit until you see that your trailer is straightened out behind you. And there we go. Yeah, that looks good. Nice and straight. So let me show you the hand placement on the steering wheel that's gonna help you be really successful on backing up. You wanna basically put your hand on the bottom of the steering wheel when going backwards. This is super crucial, and as I go through the video, I'll show you why you wanna hold on the bottom of the steering wheel only. All right, I'm ready to go backwards and reverse the trailer. So, hand on the bottom, very important, using your left and right mirrors. For example, when I'm going backwards, if I see the trailer too much in my left-hand mirror, I need to get it over to my right-hand side so I can see on both sides. So what I'm gonna to do to correct that would be to move my hand to the right. Now you can use your left hand, you can use your right hand, it really doesn't matter. If I'm moving backwards and I see the trailer in my right hand mirror too much, I'm gonna take my hand and move it to the left because I need to make sure it goes to the left again so I'm re-centered. Once I see the trailer centered, I'm gonna put my hand right back down to the middle. Okay, so let's get this vehicle in reverse and let's get to it. Here we go. Okay, we got the car in reverse, so just checking my mirrors, make sure everything's clear, and we're gonna start to go backwards. Hand on the bottom of the steering wheel. So as I start to go backwards, I'm gonna check the mirrors, both left and right, and here's the thing that we wanna look out for before we start going backwards, is if I see my trailer in my left mirror, that means it's going too far to my left and I need to correct that same thing with the right side. If I see the trailer in the right side mirror way too much, I've gotta correct it and make it get back into the center. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Again, I have a wide trailer so I can see it in both of my mirrors. That tells me which way to go left or right, backwards. Now, if you cannot see your trailer because it's a smaller trailer, that's okay. That means it's in the middle and you're doing good going backwards but you just wanna make sure you use those mirrors to see that trailer when it comes through the left or the right side. Okay, as I start going backwards, I'm gonna show you the mirror views on what it looks like when I see the trailer in the left and right side. So in reverse, making sure I'm clear, here we go. Looking left and right, I can see the trailer on either side. Again, if you don't see your trailer because it's smaller, uh, you know it's in the middle. Okay, we're looking good here. Let me show you what I see right here. So if your trailer happens to swerve to one side or the other, for example, something like this, and you're moving the steering wheel to the left a little bit too much, you're gonna see that that ski and your trailer has gone to the left-hand side. So to get that corrected, you can do one or two things. Just put the vehicle in drive and it'll straighten itself out. And you'll start to see your trailer disappear out of the mirror. You start going too far to the left again, you'll see that trailer start to stick out. So to correct that, we're gonna use our hand on the bottom of the steering wheel and we're gonna move it to 
the right so I can start to get the trailer out of my left mirror. I don't want to see that much of trailer in my left mirror. So we're going to correct it, move it to the right. We're going to go backwards. And I'm going to make quite a big correction here to the right just to get it out of that mirror. And now it is out of that mirror and I can see it in both mirrors again. So I'm going to put my hand back down to the center and I can continue to go backwards. All right, so let's see what that looks like if the trailer goes the wrong way to the right hand side. So I'm gonna put that in reverse and we're gonna go backwards. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so you see there the trailer, you can see it outside that right mirror. So I'm gonna grab it on the bottom and I'm gonna need a little bit bigger of a correction as I go backwards. So let's see if that ski disappears from that right mirror. All right, there it went. It's out of the right mirror. Let's check the left mirror. All right, that looks good. So we can continue to back up. We are in reverse. Very small movements. These small movements will keep you in line and it'll keep you out of trouble when going backwards. If you happen to make that adjustment too big, here's what happens. And maybe you're not paying attention. You just keep it over here to the left. And the ski and your trailer, that's gonna jackknife on you and you don't want that. If it ever gets this serious, just put it in drive. And the number one rule is to not freak out. No matter what happens when you're backing up your trailer, relax, don't freak out. It's always easily correctable. Put it in drive. Straighten out that trailer and you're going straight and everything is good to go. So get as much practice as you can in a big open lot like I am. Practice, practice, practice. Be on the lookout for the next video, which is gonna be how to back up your trailer and launch your ski down that launch ramp for the very first time. Don't worry, I'll help you have a successful launch. I've got you covered. Okay, so if you need to back up your trailer, maybe into your garage, or if you have an outside storage like I do, you gotta be able to back up your trailer into that space. So let me go ahead and show you how to do that. I've marked a space behind me here so you can see it clearly as we start to go backwards. Here we go. First thing, let's make sure we straighten out the vehicle. Everything is nice and straight, which it is. And we're gonna go put the vehicle in reverse and start to use our mirrors going backwards. So here we go. Looking into the left and right mirrors, keeping your hand on the bottom of that steering wheel. So we're looking good. We are in the space. Nice and straight. And maybe a little bit to the left. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we're in the space. There we go, let's check it out. Let's see how we did. There we go, looks good. I think we got the trailer going back in the right spot. Looks good. So that's how you back up your trailer into a space if you need to. So again, just make sure you're paying attention to your left and right mirrors, even your center mirror, and anything that is out in front of you, along the side of you, when you're backing up. You're gonna need these tips, especially when the next video comes out and how to get down that launch ramp so you're not bumping into anything or anyone and also to help you have a successful first launch. All right, everyone, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for joining in. Go ahead and please give me a thumbs up if this was helpful and share it with someone that might need a little bit of extra help backing up your trailer for the first time. If you backed up your trailer for the first time using this video, you got to let me know how it went. I would love to hear from you and also let me know where you're chiming in from. I would like to know that as well. All right, guys, that is it. Again, thank you so much for tuning in today. And don't forget the most important thing, which is make today your absolute best day because tomorrow just isn't promised. Until next time, I will see you on the water.